Judge Saul, what a surprise. As always, is this case troubling you? Well, some of the facts are missing. And of course, the young man suffers from post-mortal amnesia. Will you redeem him? I've yet to make a judgment, sir. As you know, there is the procedure. He must be able to remember in order to be able to repent. Joseph, it's a great responsibility you have. But I trust that you'll use your powers wisely and do the right thing. This falls directly under your jurisdiction. Yes, sir. Joseph, I put a good word in, and soon, I hope, to be presenting you before the judge's counsel for their consideration. Thank you. Joseph, he passed our test, God's test. God rewards those who die the death of a martyr. He gave his life to God because he too lost his faith in men. Joseph, times are changing. Only those who are deeply committed and fully realize the extent of the sins of humanity, they will embody religious self-sacrifice, humility, and total obedience. These are the ones that will become part of the new divine order. Joseph, no one is trying to undermine your authority here. We're just trying to ease this young man's pain and prepare him for his engagement with the Lord. Those people who died were not innocent. Joseph, if you comply with the council, and redeem this young man, the Lord will reward you. <laughs> Defy us, and we will exile you to Earth to live a life of a mortal. You've been through enough, my son. But there is one last commitment we need to ask of you. God wishes that you ask him for redemption. I've done nothing I regret. Asking God for redemption for taking your own life is the last sacrifice we'll ask. No. I've been through enough. When will I receive my reward? My lord.